meow meows. So cute. Look at the little babies. to rule them all. You? Oh. Oh, kissies. Inside the wall. No, as a cat, I gotta push all the paint cans off.
Spread, fire. Spread. soul has died like the spirit of those that once inhabited it. Forest crew here. Life was everywhere. We were a small nation, but we had everything that makes people truly happy. Then, life was simple. Our children grew in abundance. The young were in love. Adults created, the elderly preserved our heritage. Some laughed at our confidence, but we knew ourselves and believed in our future. Some Western cities built domes over antique parts of the city. It was decided to build a dome over the center of our capital to protect its beauty from time. Yes, when you are really happy, it seems that you have control even over time. Nobody thought of the price that we might pay for a life of calm and tranquility. But the price is always there, hanging in the air as a dark shadow. Copy. I am listening. Stefan, you are back. Did you succeed? Geneva, password. Do I really have to? Rules are rules. Fine. Third of the parrot, quarter of a crocodile. I am beauty, no denial. Geneva, I'm sorry, but Rennie asked me for so long to come up with a password. Just don't tell me that you fancy this. Rennie is already spoiled, and you are just adding to it. But... Fine, let's just drop this. So what? Do I need to open the gates for you now, or maybe you would like me to say that ridiculous password one more time? Please open. Thank you, Geneva. We will be waiting for you in the headquarters, and welcome back. Nice. I am going out to get Enoch. Zim, you better hurry up and send Robbie to open the gates for Stefan. I can't do two things at once. Robbie, maybe you can do it yourself? Now you remember that I exist, you could have asked me first. Now I see how you treat me and my fragile human component. I'm merely a robot to you? Fine. I'll act like one. You want something done? Make me. I just don't have time for this. Be that way. I'll let Zim deal with you. Z what you doing? You need to tell Robbie to open the gates for Grandpa. You need to tell Robbie to open the gates for Grandpa. Don't tell me what to do. <gasps> what you doing? Trying to fix this game. I want to help. Okay. If you can't just stay put, pass me that screwdriver. Okay. Nice. You can take items from the inventory when you need to use them. Here, one screwdriver. Can I go meet Grandpa? Not a chance. Stefan asked me to look after you until he gets back. But he is back! Do you see him here? No. You win. Nice. I'm winning! I won. Take that. One more round. Ready. One more round?
Zeus. What? Bull. Too slow. Some say war never changes, but this time it did, and we changed with it. First came the bombs, but not all of us died. Then came hunger, but not all of us starved. Then some tried to cheat death, and we all paid the price.
comes in my bed with a sigh. There's sweat dripping down my brow, but I'm too exhausted to wipe it away. Finally done unpacking, I'm wiped out. I peer around my bedroom, letting my gaze settle on the sunset, peeking out from the other side of the window. I'll be starting at my new school tomorrow. Who knows what the other students might think? What if they see me as some sort of delinquent, or worse, an outcast? I know I'm probably overreacting, but who else transfers to another school during their last year? I doubt I'm going to be able to make new friends. It'll just be like my last school. Everyone's going to treat me like I don't exist. Though it's understandable, this is the pivotal point in everyone's lives where they start to seriously consider their futures. In fact, connecting with anyone seems impossible. It really makes you think just how fast these day go days go by. People come and go, and they forget you as soon as you're out of view. I groggily awaken to my alarm clock blaring in my ear. With an annoying grunt, I flip onto my side and smack the off button. However, I nearly scream when I catch a glimpse of the time. Apparently, I forgot to adjust the alarm yesterday because I barely have any time to get ready for school. Bag in hand, I rush out the door. As soon as I have it locked, I attempt to fix my tie, but it's pretty difficult to do with one hand. I jog towards the sidewalk, praying I won't be late for the first day at my new school. When I turn around, the bend... Oof. Or I'm right into someone else. Knocking us both off our feet. Ow! Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm so sorry. I was in a rush, but I shouldn't have been paying. But I should have been paying attention. Uh, no, it's okay. I understand. My knees ache from the weird position I fell in, but I stand up with a groan and dust myself off. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I offer the girl in my hand. That's when I know she's wearing a uniform from, for the same academy. Oh, are you a student at... Something clicks in me and this... Something clicks in me the moment her small, delicate hand rests atop mine. We meet eyes as I help her onto her feet. There's a glimmer of hope in her eyes before embarrassment floods into her face. I mean, look at the time! Class will be starting soon, so we had better hurry if we don't want to be late. It goes a lot more skittish than I remember. I can't say it's a bad thing. Somehow, I'm already starting to forget how much time has passed since we last saw each other. I guess some things are still the same as ever. Yoko and I make small talk while she guides me down streets, pointing at any places of interest when we pass them. I try my best to take it all in, but it's hard to keep up when we're rushing. Ten minutes later, we finally arrive at Academy. Despite being one of the oldest schools in the area, the academy is surprisingly well maintained. Not only are the students all dressed all prim and proper, but the campus itself is also tidy. The flowers and bushes are beautifully arranged, the grass is trimmed to perfection. It's worlds different than my old school. I can't help but stop to admire this. <laughs> Do you know which class you're in yet? I nearly jump out of my skin when Yoko speaks up, my mind returning to the present. Uh, yeah, class 2B. I can just ask for directions at the office, though. I don't want to trouble you any more than I already have. Oh, no way! Guess what? We're in the same class! Woohoo! I'm glad to be with you. Yoko nearly trips over her own <laughs> I barely managed to catch her. Are you okay? Yes, of course. I just felt lightheaded out of nowhere. <laughs> That's all. Place far away from anywhere else. You are part of a group of explorers making your way through the forest. Feeling a strange presence, you notice something between the trees. Drawn to it, you approach this strange relic and raise a hand towards it. Upon touching its surface, a blind light engulfs it.
Back to these forges. Crystal slot. This will all be simpler if I knew your name. Hey. Purgatory's landscape is deeply incoherent. You cannot navigate it without me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Message, please. Heed my warning. Earth's resources were dwindling, which caused mass panic in the world. Nuclear wars had ravaged the planet and killed millions. It turned out the instructions of stop, drop, and roll were just not sufficient for surviving a nuclear attack. During all the destruction, one man could see a path back to the world he once knew. He created the foundation for Gina, named after his daughter, who was one of the war's many victims. They launched several ships into deep space. One of those ships was purposed to search the galaxy for a cure to the mess humanity had made. That was this ship. That was the Nostrami. But something went wrong out here. And, oh, what was that? Why, why did I waste this message on so much exposition? Oh my god, just stay away. Just, just stay, 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 stay away. Rip. Yes. is that
peeking at my mission to find out what Dr. Dargas is up to. Wise man once said, the truth is out there. Okay, it was only from the, from the hex files. You wake up in a small shack. You can't remember how you got here. This really is a shack. Jeez. seems to be saving my progress. Nice! This is a star door. You need eight stars to open the door. Dude, I'm all teeth. Thank <laughs> you. 